At Mount Rowan Secondary College, we have got about 650 students and we're a growing school. We're located in the city of Ballarat in regional Victoria. Our demographic is mixed. That means that we have quite a diversity of lived experiences of our families and students. Last year, at the start of the year, we did work off a system that wasn't the tiered system, so students were withdrawn from their English classes, and what we found is there was a significant amount of stigma around that, and we had a lot of students reluctant to come out and, and work with us in intervention or in any form of literacy instruction. So we altered it from just a semester base two sessions a week um, last year, and we've made it three sessions a week every week for the entire Year 7 and 8 cohort. It's being delivered to everyone, so I guess it's tier one in that instance, but the um, practices that we're delivering are probably more what you would deliver in tier two because they would be aimed at students who showed some risk of not progressing. The practices that we're putting in at that tier two level, which for example in reading are things like fluency and with numeracy we're doing things like multiplicative thinking, they're talking about trusting the count, which is something that would happen really early in primary school, but we've got a large proportion of students who still need to work on that. And so some of those perhaps tier two targeted practices have come into our whole class instruction because our data has showed the need for that. We worked closely with a local primary school that helped a lot with our decision making and informed a lot of our decisions and we focused majority on phonics first because if students don't have an understanding of phonics then it's really hard for them to read fluently. So we put an emphasis on phonics and we moved to the spectrum then focusing on fluency and then later on comprehension. Once they've seen that it's targeted at the skills that they need and it's achievable and they can get success there's been high levels of engagement and students are more willing to be active participants in the classroom. If we think that one thing is not working, we don't hesitate to give feedback and say, I think this is not working, it's not getting the results that we wanted. So we sit down on the table, discuss what worked and what's not working, and then we tweak the process. So we are all in this together. It's definitely rewarding seeing them have success with numbers, which for them may be a pretty foreign concept, so just to see them have success and be engaged is, it's, it's why we do this.